Hi, I'm Josh and you're watching The Prolo Patient. If you're new to the channel, for the last several years, I've been struggling with craniocervical instability, but I went through regenerative medicine, prolotherapy, and other alternative things that have really helped me. One of the things that I experienced because of my craniocervical instability was something that's called cervical dizziness. I wanted to talk about seven things that really helped me in dealing with that. The first one would be one. controlling the temperature in my environment. I noticed that if I kept it really cold, that it helped me in dealing with this cervical dizziness. I would take cold showers. I cut out hot water completely. Accompanied with that would be controlling Two. the temperature of what I ate and drank. If I would drink something hot, it would cause my body to get hot and I noticed that I would get 10 times as dizzy. The third thing that helped me is something that I called slow mode. I would just move, move really slowly. And that would help me dealing with this cervical dizziness. The fourth thing that helped me was eating salt. Salt, magnesium, and potassium all work together within your body. The reason why it affects cervical dizziness so much is if you don't have enough salt in the body, you're gonna have low blood pressure. If you get up too quickly with low blood pressure, you're likely going to feel dizzy. Speaking of salt, I would highly suggest a sea salt. Sea salt has 84 minerals in it, whereas table salt only has two. Yeah, just get rid of this. The fifth thing that helped me is taking magnesium. I started taking magnesium every day. There's been studies that have shown that a high percentage of the population is extremely deficient in mag magnesium. Almost said manganese. That one too. Magnesium helps you retain the fluid that you drink. I noticed as soon as I started taking magnesium an improvement in my quality of sleep, which leads me to number six, and that's sleep. Six. The more that I concentrated on the quality of my sleep, the more my cranial cervical instability improved. The seventh thing is pretty simple but it was very effective in helping me dealing with this dizziness. As soon as I would wake or rise in the morning, before I would do anything, I would pick a spot Seven. on the wall and I would just stare at it for 30, 45 seconds before I would go and do anything. And that would kind of help center all your vestibular senses. So like I said, potassium, salt, and magnesium all work together to help give you a normal blood pressure. All these are so important and critical to helping you with this cervical dizziness. If your body's balanced, it's gonna run right. Hello? Oh, I have to give a disclaimer? Disclaimer, I am not a doctor. These are just the things that have helped me along my journey dealing with cranial cervical instability and cervical dizziness. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that these seven things help you if you're experiencing cervical dizziness. I know I went through it for about a year and it was extremely discomforting and it affected my life so negatively. So if these things help you, it's definitely worth it for me to take my time to make this video. But like always, thank you all so much for watching. May God bless you and we'll see you again soon.